Some of you have seen the logo dissolve into particles in the glowy star tutorial and I thought it might be a good idea to show you guys how to create this effect. I made this even better by applying the dissolve shader graph to it instead of normal fade out. If this is the first time you're watching my channel, I'm Ramiz Altapa, the co-founder of Binary Lunar and Avocado Developer. And let's make your logo dissolve into particles. Create new Unity 2D project. Import your logo to it. Drag, drag it to the scene. I change the background to black because it makes our logo more vivid. Right click on your logo and create a new particle system. The main idea is to use your logo as a shape to emit the particles so we go to the shape section inside the particle system and we set the shape to sprite we set the logo to the sprite also we set the te texture to our logo if you got an error message that saying that ensure read, read and write is enabled just go to your sprite your logo and enable that from its properties then go to the emission, we don't want that to be emitting all the time, so we go to the burst and we set the interval to 0.25 and the cycles to 5 and the start time to 0. Since we want to make a few bursts till the logo disappear or dissolve, set the count of each burst to 1000 particles and set the max particles to 5000. We want the particles to start static on the logo then we will add force to them to move them so set the start speed to zero then activate force over lifetime and set that to be random between two constants we will random that between minus 0.5 and 0.5 on the x and the same on the y that will make the particles scatter nicely as you can see they are not starting from the points of the logo itself so we need to change the type from vertex to triangle now the particles started to emit correctly from the logo itself but the size is too big so let's go to the size the start size and change it between 0.05 and 0.1 looks nice now maybe if we made it a little bit more smaller it will look better now we need to make the particle looks like fading so let's activate the size over time click on the graph below and make them shrink during time till the till they disappear and finally let's add a noise to make the particles scatter nicely now all what we need to do is to control the particle emissions using an animation so let's create a new animation let's name it logo fade hit the record button and now it's a, a simple process we will activate and deactivate the particle system as the animation going so we want to start with the particle deactivated we start activating it when the logo starts to disappear then we deactivate the particle system before the last frame to get a nice do now we can make the logo fade in and fade out by controlling the color alpha during the timeline so let's create fade in by transitioning between 0 alpha to full alpha then we start doing a fade out by doing a transition between a full alpha to 0 alpha so we will start fading out our logo when the particle system is activated to make this looks better you can check our tutorial about the solve shader graph you can find the link in the description below or in the info card in the top right corner and replace the fade out with a dissolve that will make the particle feels like emitting from the destroyed part of the logo so all what you need to do is to control the dissolve amount during time and synchronize that with the particle emissions so you need to 
start the dissolve process then after milliseconds start the emissions of the particles to give that feeling that the logo is dissolving to those particles and that's it you can use that effect in the intro of your logo also it can be used in any other means in your game i hope you enjoyed watching this video your support is highly appreciated by subscribing liking commenting also all your suggestions for the next videos are welcome and don't forget by becoming a patreon you can download all our projects for free till next video see you soon